place the three-way valve in bypass position to divert the flow of drilling fluid back to the pits. Raise the rotary drive head to allow the slip plate jaws to close around the drill pipe. Now lower the drill head to engage the breakout lugs in the slip jaws. Leave a one inch gap to allow room for the pipe to move down as it unthreads. Reverse the rotary by pushing the valve lever sharply to the reverse direction to allow the swivel stem pin to break out of the drill pipe. The pipe will drop free and into the slip jaws. If the pipe isn't freed, it's an indication that you didn't completely remove all the cuttings from the hole. Apply pipe joint compound to the swivel stem and next drill pipe, then raise the rotary head to within one inch of the top stop. Screw the new pipe into the pipe resting in the slip jaws. Don't completely tighten. Position the swivel stem threads about half an inch above the top of the new pipe. Engage the rotary valve to slowly turn the swivel stem. Align the pipe and swivel stem threads as they start to engage. Just as the top and bottom threads begin to tighten, return to the neutral valve position to stop all movement. Raise the rotary drive head and pipe string so that the slip jaws can be opened. Place the three-way valve in the drilling position. Wait to make sure circulation is re-established and fluid comes out of the borehole, then resume drilling. 